All right, gang, we're back with our CrossFit Metcon for Wednesday, February 7th. Three rounds today, four separate stations. You'll spend a minute at each movement before transitioning. Minute number one, we've got dumbbell push press. We'll start, well, it'll be with just one dumbbell. Hip width stance, toes straight forward as we dip. Weight stays back in our heels. Knees go a little wider than our toes. Then we want to throw that dumbbell with our legs and simply finish with our arms. Catch back in that dip position as you start to chain them together. Make that, or don't make that dip too big. It's just a quick little dip drive, throwing it with the legs, finishing with the arm, getting fully stacked out at the top. On those, we'll switch hands every 10 reps during that minute, working for as much of the minute as you can. Moving over to our hanging knee raise next. Hands are gonna be shoulder width apart, thumb around the bar. You'll start every rep from the hollow position. So you'll hang long, then squeeze your belly tight. That's gonna bring those heels just forward of your hips, knees and toes together, pulling knees high to chest, return back down to hollow each time. So try not to let those feet come back. And then that's what gets us swinging on that motion. We want to eliminate the swing today, start from hollow, raise the knees, control the down, back to hollow. You'll need to take some breaks during that minute, so split those up as needed. Make your breaks short, come down, take three breaths or so, hop back up, go again. After that, we've got lateral bear drags, so core and shoulder movement here. Turn your dumbbell sideways so that it's not very wide as you drag through. Knees are gonna be about two inches off the ground. Keep that back flat. Try not to roll your hips during these drags. So tighten down right before you reach over. Pull across, small steps over until that dumbbell is outside of your ribs. Reach over, pull across. You'll traverse side to side in your box for the duration of the minute. Finishing up, that last minute with split stance rows. Find an object that's about knee height. Then from there, whichever hand that we're rowing with, that foot's gonna be kicked back. We're pushing those hips back, similar to like an RDL. Fist is gonna hang right beneath the shoulder in the bottom. Elbow stays tight to the side. Pull as far as we can behind us. Try not to get your legs or your torso into this movement. Make it all happen through your back and through your shoulder. Same thing on those, you'll switch hands every 10 reps, working for as much of that minute as you can. Three trips through, work for as much of the minute as possible. Leave yourself five to 10 seconds to transition over to that next minute each round. Good luck on today's workout, and we'll see you back for uh, Friday's workout.